That's fantastic. Makes the dentist appointment more tolerable. Dentist appointment. Hold over, get my jacket on. Make it more comfortable. Get back after it here. Okay, I am unboxing for the second time this e-bike, Rock Shark, and this is Highland, Highlander, Highland product. It didn't work when I assembled it, and so the bike didn't work when I assembled it, and we were going to send the bike back. And they hem hauled about it a little bit. And Debbie, uh, my wife, put in a complaint with Amazon that it's going to be a real pain in the rear to return this thing because it didn't work in the first place. And, you know, bicycles aren't small. Anyway, so I, while all this was happening, I, I, I boxed the bike back up, disassembled it. And we were waiting. You know, surprise happened. I really didn't want to send it back. I was hoping just to fix it, but I didn't want to avoid any warranties or anything. So I didn't dive too deep into it, but I, I did verify the battery was working. It had a full charge, but nothing would power up. So we fast forward a couple of days, and the company emails my wife and says, we're going to make this right. We're going to... We're going to give you your money back. And by the way, don't worry about shipping the bike back. Just deal with it, you know. Get rid of it. Keep it. Whatever you want. Just don't worry about it. So, man, I think that those guys went far beyond the call of duty to even offer something like that. So, I'm going to try to fix it. I'm going to try to figure out what's wrong with this thing and uh, see what we've got ourselves into. So I've got the bike back out of the box and there was a little damage on the battery. I showed that earlier. And I'm just gonna go through and try to figure out <clears throat> voltage from here, the battery, is not making it up to the control stuff and not to the, uh, the motor. So I'm going to try to trace, trace around and find out exactly how far the power goes before we lose it. So I'll try to keep you posted on that. I'll try to video a lot of it and go get my camera stand. Okay, so all I've done so far was pull it out of the box and I attached the handlebars. Those four uh, hex hex uh, heads, uh, not hex heads, uh, Allen heads. And uh, let's see, they are this size right here, four. Those are four, so that's all I've done. I put the handlebars here so I could have all the stuff attached and it not dangling around. Now I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can One of my neighbors <laughs> see if I can uh, troubleshoot it while it's in this condition so here we go I'm gonna turn the battery oh battery is on on, on, on. power this thing up nothing happens <clears throat> Nothing happens. <clears throat> nothing, nothing on the handlebars.
Okay, so with the uh, battery out, I'm gonna test. It's got positive and negative. I'm gonna test those, see the voltage on them. Okay, so I did test my meter on a battery a car battery and it, it was reading 12.8 it's kind of an old battery it's, so I know the meter's working although I am getting a little strange reading of two volts in humid day I don't know where they're coming from let's check it though so I see positive and negative slip those slip those in there So it's a, it's reading th three volts, five volts. So let's charge her up and see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this front tire on. This, um, Retainer. This is just something to ship it in. It's nine sixteenths. They come with these little ranch things in there. And uh, if you don't have anything else to work with, you could get it done with that. But nine sixteenths is the size. I think everything else is is going to be metric. So I'll just give those a little loosen. Pull that thing out of there. Little loosen. I'm gonna save that. Okay, so in one of those boxes, or there's a bag in there actually. It's got one of these guys. It's got two springs in there. You're gonna leave this spring on closest to the Johnson valve there and uh, take that nut off and this one off and then we're going to put it through the the wheel the other thing to, to note right here is there's a little piece of plastic but that's between the brake pads right here so I'm just going to pull that little piece of plastic out and set it off to I don't need it anymore but I'm going to keep it <clears throat> So the wheel's going to come with this little protector on there, and we just take that off. So now we're going to get the uh, the brake uh, disc lined up with the brake pads. Make sure it goes into that slot. <clears throat> so the uh, the brake. disc is going to line right up in there. Let's see if I can get a better shot of that. Let's see, how can I do this? There we go. Okay, so all you're going to be left with is a little bit of a nub sticking out. And uh, this piece comes apart like I was saying. We're going to make sure we don't lose that spring. <clears throat> and I'm going to put 
this through this way. And it's going to stick out the other end and the spring's going to go on there with the small side uh small side this way. Small side towards the hub. I'll get that fairly snug by hand and then we're gonna <clears throat> man I am pouring water off me we're going to uh, get it where we can pull that latch down right there there we go something about like that Okay, so uh, while it's laying here, I'm going to go ahead and put the pedals on. There's a left and a right pedal. And you find out left and right by standing behind the bike and looking forward, and then you use your left and right hands. But all vehicles are like that, even bikes. So this one should be the left side. <clears throat> Let's see if we can put that in there. <clears throat> so this left side is backwards thread, left-handed threads. And you could use this little uh, little tool here, and you might need to. And let's see what the outside one is here. Okay, the outside one is a 15. So 15 millimeter on the pedal. So this one is the 15 here on the pedal. And so we're going left-hand threads, counterclockwise. <clears throat> so with the key on, I push the battery button. That is what it looks like. But nothing here. Got nothing. Um, oh, I'm trying to find the throttle. Oh, wrong thing. There we go. Nothing on the throttle. And then these things go on the bicycle and uh, slide on there. All right, so what I'm doing on the bike is I took all the electronics off. They all go in here, except the motor's staying on. The brake switch is staying on. The throttle is staying on. So I've got two brake switches and a throttle and the motor that's from the original bike. And then I'm putting this controller on it and I'm just I'm waiting for a wire to hook up to, for so I can hook up the motor and a battery mount and once I get those together I can put it all together and hopefully it'll work 
But I don't see why. Oh, I'm also leaving the Hall Effect sensor, the um, the P P A S, I think it is, the pedal assist. That's it, pedal assist uh, sensor. So <clears throat> that's where we are. So first thing, I got this little pin that goes into this little hole, and I'm using that as a reference. So they'll go like this. And so my next wire here is that red one. I've got the black and the white one in, and I've got the <clears throat> the red one of just about to start to go in. So I just slide it in that little hole, and then I'll take these little needle nose and push it in until it snaps. Once you hear that snap, it's in there. So I've got the top row done and now I just need to put this bottom row in. So I've got the yellow, green, and blue left. And they're in this order here. The blue is directly under the black and we just slide them in there. The only thing else I could say that's of relevance here is this little, this little uh, barb right here. Little barb. That has to line up with a little slot inside there. And that's the only thing you got to worry about when you slide those things together. So with the connector together there, they all fit. And I checked my uh, wires to make sure they're all matching. And then this is just some uh, heat shrink I pulled back out of the way. So once I'm finished, I'll roll that back over this and shrink it down. But not till I get everything completely done. I'm satisfied it works. So next are these uh, hall sensors. And it's uh, yellow, blue, and green. So the yellow... Oops. <clears throat> blue... And green... And those are connector. Now, all I've got left are the power wires uh, to the controller, or to the battery, I should say. Everything else is going to this little controller here. These are going directly to the battery.